Alrighty, good morning. So I'm making this message to wake us up today, okay? We need this. I'm calling all the artists, all the people who've been called to this video. Okay, you're here for a reason, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be, you know, uh, the thing that makes your day. I mean, I sure hope to be, but who knows? You know, um, I'm just here to, to spread some joy, to spread some positivity, to extend who I am into, uh, into uh, videos. And if those videos reach you and you like them, awesome. Thumbs up, give me one, you know, and, uh, and if it reaches you and you're not ready or in that place for a message yet, then uh, no problem. Just if you're here and if you're still here, welcome. Um, today I want to talk about getting ideas and believing in them because all of us have had these billion dollar ideas at least, I'd say once a week you have one, you know, and you're like, huh, that's, that, this could be something. And sometimes a second later it can leave because you'll try to see it from someone else's perspective. Like what would the world think about my idea? But I'm starting to think maybe that's not what we should be doing. Because I'm someone who has ideas naturally, and they just come, they occur. And usually, I'm in social settings because I love talking to people. I love being out there, exchanging and expanding on what I know, learning, right? That's, that's something that I love doing. And I think that's great. It's great to learn. But when we're in those circumstances, right, when we're talking to people, that's usually when we have ideas that we would like to expand on. And since we're talking to people, we might share our ideas right then and there. And they might shut us down, or we might want to share our idea, think about how the person is going to perceive that idea, and just not share it at all. And I want to propose a new alternative to that. What about if when we get those ideas, we just keep them to ourselves at first? And this is not, you know, um, not trusting the person we're talking to. This is just trusting ourselves more. This is just um, thinking, you know, who who better to judge an idea that I just got than myself? So what if when we're out there, when we're out in the world and we have this a great idea, this thing that we think could work or this story that we think could read well or this movie that we think people can enjoy, what if we just took some time out of our day, you know, grabbed our phones or something, it takes two seconds, and wrote it down in notes. Or just send, send it to ourselves, you know, if you have your, your number saved and you send stuff to yourself, then do that. You know, why not? Um, because today, today for me was a day of ideas, right? I'm writing a movie, and, um, and so I sit down with uh, my partner, who I'm writing the movie with, and we just talk. And we talk for hours about ideas, right? And some of those ideas fall off or some of those ideas don't get taken on or taken into the story. And that doesn't mean they're bad. That just means that they don't have anything to do with the story or that it might not fit well into the scene. But I think that most of the ideas we have are valuable somewhere. You know, how many times have you thought of something in a moment and then forgotten about it and then thought about it once again when it was relevant, like dreams? You know, you dream something. You might dream about being in a car. And then you forget about that until you're in a car and then it comes back and there's so much more value to the dream that you had because now you're living a similar situation. And, uh, you know, and what if we gave ourselves that chance? What if we trusted in the ideas that we had at random times? What if we trusted in the most, um, fun things that our creativity comes up with instead of just going like, huh, that's interesting. And then just forgetting it. Um, because that's fine too. You know, it's fine to, to live in the moment, to have an idea, to enjoy it, and then let it go. That's totally fine. But I'm saying, why don't we extend the, the lives, the half-life of our ideas just a little more? Because maybe along the way, throughout our lives, we're going to come to a crossroads. Where we can go left or right, like me at the moment. I'm, I'm choosing between schools to go to. And... And you know what? I feel like I need some guidance. And I don't need that guidance from people who've gone to those schools because they're not me. I need guidance from me. But it's hard to 
to, to extrapolate and to think for the future me, right? But I think if I had a base of all these ideas I have, you know, some, and, and I arrange them, like from, from, from feeling, from the ideas that feel the worst to the ideas that feel the best, right? And if I arrange them there in this scale, then I could just orient myself on the ideas that feel the best to me, right? And that's something that I want to try and do. So I'm inviting you to do the same thing with me. Why don't we, you know, across the next few days, just mark any idea that we have? You know, let's say, let's say for the next five days, let's, let's take the initiative to jot down, to note all the ideas that we have. Just random ideas, you know, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have uh, an ice cream shop where you can rollerblade and eat your ice cream and then leave? And then just write that down. And at the end of the five days, what if we looked at those ideas and started putting it into that scale, you know, from, from one to 10, feeling the least good to the most good or something like that. And then we'd know which ideas make us feel the best. And then we could orient our lives to that a little bit. Me, how I'm going to use that, right? I want to go to a school and I want to go to a school where I feel good. And now I think about what feels good to me, painting. So what about a school that has a really nice campus that inspires me to paint? What about a school that has a painting program? What about, you know, these kinds of things. I think the more we trust ideas, the further we'll come because the more we trust our ideas, the more we'll trust ourselves. And self-empowerment is the best investment that you can make, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's write down any and all ideas we have. And then at the end of the five days, we're just going to compile them all together onto this scale and use it as a kind of directional navigational system. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. And, uh, and, and let's keep each other posted. Let's, let's, let's put this in the comments. You know, let's, let's write some, we, we can even use a comment section as our notepad. Let's do this. All right, good luck. We're going to make it. <laughs>